Hello everybody. So today I will be rearranging my bookshelf. As you can see, it's very cluttered and we even have a stack of extra books. I think it's cut off on this side that I don't know where to put. If you hear me complain that there's not enough space, no you didn't because I know this is my fault and I have a book buying problem. So today we will be taking everything out, dusting the bookshelf, rearranging, and hopefully every play every book will have its place. Not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I should do like a two level. I don't even have level. What am I talking about levels for? I don't know if I'm gonna put like some books behind because I don't like doing this. I don't like putting books on top like that. We might have to do some like um, horizontal. I don't know if we could fit more that way. After everything is set, I'm gonna go over my full physical TBR that I have. So first step is taking out all the books. Oh, also I'm going to be putting some books to the side that I don't know if I'll ever get to. Like I feel like I'm not going to read or books that I read and don't want to keep. I'm looking to donate them or probably sell them on Pango Books, but we'll see. Here are all my books <laughs> on my floor. That's great. I'm gonna take some pics for Instagram while I have them all out. I think I'm annoying. We have a lot of books to um, put away. Um, I usually do it by genre. And yeah, oh, so these books I didn't even take out because I feel like I'm gonna keep them together but I just might move them over to this side. We're gonna dust and start putting back the books. my shelves that was honestly really stressful for me and I'm out of breath for moving books let's go through my TBR on top of my bookshelf we have my favorite authors books we have Abby, all my Abby Jimenez books with um, my TBR jar we have my bookmarks and tabs in that mug here we have my two library picks and then of course we have all my candles because I'm obsessed with them and some dried flowers in the back. So that's what's on top. So starting here at the top right, we have the romance section. So these one, two, three, these are all romances. So we have The Bodyguard, Alone With You in the Ether, Normal People, A Torch of Darkness, Me Before You, <laughs> Every Summer After, The Singles Table. I actually read Before We Were Strangers. I need to read The Last Post, The Way I Used to Be, I read Pack Up the Moon and One True Loves, and then I have to read Song of Achilles. So <laughs> most of these books I have not read yet. <laughs> this shelf is so cute. So we have Emily Henry books, which I've all read. If you've seen my Emily Henry video, I've read all her books. Um, I've read Twisted Love and Twisted Games, and then I have to read Hate and Lies, and then also Things We Never Got Over. As you can see, I'm intimidated by long books because I have not gotten to these yet. <laughs> More romance over here. I'll just say the books I haven't read. So I haven't read Tell Me Lies, Shipped, Dating You, Hating You, Practice Makes Perfect, Seven Days in June, The Flat Share, Safe Haven. So my dad gave me this and I actually watched the movie a long time ago. So I really do want to reread the book and then rewatch the movie, not reread the book. So I actually want to read the book and then rewatch the movie for that one. A Season for Second Chances. This is definitely going to be a Christmas read. Um, if he had been with me and Magnolia Parks, which I'm looking to read by the end of this year. And then the last box in this top row, these are all books I just recently bought. Down here, the second row for our books, these are all books that are classified under young adult. So we have Six Crimson Six Crimson Cranes, You've Reached Sam, Marcelo in the Real World. I've had this for so long. I got this off Book Outlet and I really do want to read it. I just never think to pick it up. Tokyo Ever After, 
I've read The Perks of Being a Wallflower twice. I love this book. The Fault in Our Stars I've read. Um, I've read Love and Gelato. So I have to read Turtles All the Way Down, Everything, Everything, Something in Between. The female of the species, I'll give you the sun, and everything is illuminated. So here we have my little dystopian section, or some of my dystopian books. I've read the whole Shatter Me series. I only just have to read The Rest of Insurgent and Allegiant. But I really want to reread the, these books for a video, so you will be seeing that at some point. Next we have, well these are dystopian. But the rest are like mystery books, young adult mysteries. So we have the inheritance games. I've read these. I haven't read None Shall Sleep, Truly Devious, The Vanishing Star, and the, all of these I've read. Here is the last young adult section. I have not read any of these except for Tiger Lily. Um, so we have The Lightning Thief. It's a gra the graphic novel of The Lightning Thief. The three, the first three Maze Runner books, A Darker Shade of Magic, Scythe, Daughter of the Pirate King, Night, The Night Circus, City of Bones, The House in the Cerulean Sea, Legend, and The Selection. For the last row, the first two squares are mystery thrillers, and then we have more general fiction and self-help and classics on the other end. So for this shelf, I need to read all of these except for All Good People Here and then The Arsenic and Adobo books. I've had you for so long before the TV show even came out, which is crazy. Um, and I even when the show came out, I never watched it because I kept telling myself I was going to read the book first. And I still haven't gotten to the book yet. And that was like when I was in high school. Next, we have the rest of my mystery thriller books. I feel like this looks so cute with the pops of reds and yellows and just the color scheme of the shelf. Um, so I have to read Behind Closed Doors, The Mysterious Affair at Styles, Then She Was Gone, The Shining, The Maid, The ha the Hunting Party, Gone Girl, My Sister the Serial Killer, um, The Family Upstairs, and A Harmless Lie. So like I said, we're getting into the general fiction classics over here. So we have The Goldfinch which I've also had for so long, but I didn't realize how long of a book it was when I asked for it. Um, I actually don't know if I'm ever going to read that, but it's like sentimental because my mom gave it to me and I don't want to get rid of it. Um, Carrie Soto is back. A Man Called Ove. Piranesi. Uh, Room. Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery. A Little Life. And then... I did start this when I got it. It's called Invis Invisible Cities. I got it when I was in San Francisco along with, with Kafka Was the Rage, which I did read. Um, so those are more just like souvenir books for me. I also need to read My Year of Rest and Relaxation, Autumn, and Sir Say. And now we've made it to the last shelf. And there's a lot of books I need to read on here. So I have Jurassic Park. If you don't know me, I love the Jurassic Park movies. So I've always wanted to read the book for it, or at least the first book. So I have Jurassic Park, 1984. I want to reread The Bell Jar because this was my favorite book when I read it back in high school. Cat's Cradle, The Picture of Dorian Gray, The Joy Luck Club, um... Emma, 10% Happier, I read this for school, I DNF the tipping point, it was too much for me, uh, Morning Mind and Wildflower by Drew Barrymore, I also love Drew Barrymore if you didn't know, so I have her book. So I'm just going to stay on the floor for this part, I'm going to show you all the books that I decided to unhaul, and it's actually a lot, which is kind of crazy. And I thought I would have a lot, I would have more extra space, but it's literally just making space for the books that I've bought in the past few months. I got this bookshelf for Christmas last December, and it's crazy because I have like no space left. Like back when I first got it, I was like arranging them so like cutesy and stuff because I had so much extra room and now I have none. It definitely um, is affected by the fact that I use this bottom row for storage. I have my yarn stuff, my nail stuff, and then like 
room decor in here and like random things that you know I just want to keep so I feel like if I didn't have these storage boxes here I definitely would be able to arrange my shelf a little more to how I would like it so yeah we're gonna go over the books really quickly that I've decided to unhaul so the first set of books I will be unhauling is these Mitch Albin books so we have the so I'll go in order the five people you meet in heaven the next person you meet in heaven Tuesdays with Maury and The Timekeeper. So I've read th these three books and I've yet to read The Timekeeper, but I'll probably listen to this on audiobook, so I don't know if I really need the physical book of this one. I don't know. I love his books. I, I know some people don't like his books, but I really do love all his stories that I've read of his. I feel like I might try to keep these because this is a cute little collection and I love this little hardcover version of The Five People We Don't Have It. The five people you meet in heaven. I think it's just missing the dust jacket, but I like don't want to give this away because it looks like such a cute little classic book to keep. I don't know. I might put them because I like put stuff behind books here, so I might keep these in the back just to have. Um, a book I'm definitely going to unhaul or try to sell is Illuminae. I've had this since I was in high school, I believe. When did this come out? Or maybe when I was in college. 2015. So it came out when I was in high school. So yeah, I think I had this when I was in high school. And I remember everyone was talking about this series. I got this on Book Outlet. Um, and I just don't know if I'll ever pick it up. I know it's a dystopian story. And I either actually watched Heather McLary. Um, her YouTube video about her wa reading this. And I think she enjoyed it. I can't remember. But watching her read it kind of made me want to read this but I don't know if I can get into this I think it's really cool that the pages like it's not like a regular book it's like files and stuff I think for the fact that I've had this book for so long and I've never actually picked it up or wanted to pick it up is a sign that it's time to let it go next we have a thousand splendid sons I had to read this for high school and I really liked it um and I saw this at a library book sale and I thought I would want to reread it but I don't know. I feel like I always see this book at library book sales. So like, or at Goodwill and Savers and stuff. So I feel like if I ever want to reread it, I there's so many copies out there. But I think, yeah, I'm going to unhold this. Next is a book that I read, DNF'd, finished on audiobook, and still wasn't that amazed by it. And that is The Silent Patient. But this one I just don't really care to keep this copy of. And I feel like someone out there will probably want this. So I'm probably going to donate it or give it to my local bookstore. Next is Big Little Lies. I got this from a free little library, I believe. I had put in a book and I took this book because I thought I would read it. But I don't think I will. And like I said, I feel like someone else will want this. You know what? I'll probably put these two in free little libraries because I feel like these are books that people often hear about and might want to read themselves. Next is The Marsh King's Daughter. When I got back into reading, I bought this from Goodwill. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to read it. This next book, do not get scared because I'm just going to get this book in paperback form along with the, the sequel to it. And that is Six of Crows. I got this at a library book sale and it's actually like a, a library withdraw. So it has this on it. Oh wait, my bookmark is in it. So I actually started this last, last like November, I believe. So almost a year ago, I only got 19 pages in and I could not get into it. But I still do want to read it because I love a good heist and everyone says this is like a book where they like do a little heist or whatever. And I'm just now getting into fantasy. I think that's why I had a hard time reading it last year. Um, so I think I'm ready, but I think I want to get the paperback version so that way it's like all matching with Crooked Kingdom and I don't like this chunky library version of it. Next is another free little library pick and that's Ariadne. I think that's how you say it, um, by Jennifer Saint. So I took this from a free little library thinking I would read it, but I don't think I will. I know there's a lot of people who like Greek mythology and stuff like that, so... I think I'll bring this back to your free little library. Next is a book I did not like. I listened to the audiobook and it just made me feel icky and that is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. Um, I want to read Gone Girl by her, but I did not like 
this book. Um, I thought about keeping it, but it's kind of like beat up. I got it from a library book sale. So I'm just gonna donate it. We have In Five Years that I also got from a library book sale. You can tell most of my books from, are from library book sales, which is amazing. It's a good way to like broaden the type of books that you like read. Um, but sometimes I pick up books thinking I'm gonna read them and then I don't end up reading them. And that's okay. I mean, I don't feel as bad because the books are usually one to three dollars. I've heard iffy reviews on in five years, so that's why I don't think I'm ever gonna gravitate towards this. Same with Colorless Sukuru Saki. I don't know how to say this, I'm sorry. I really do want to read a Haruki, Haruki Murakami book. I don't know, I like the type of girl who's trying to get into like general fiction, but like I don't pick up general fiction books. Even if I buy them and have them, I don't gravitate towards them. Next is The Woman in the Window. I did want to read the classic mystery thrillers. I did start this on audiobook and I did not like it. And I just like wasn't into it. So I don't think I'm ever going to read it. I'll probably just watch the movie. <laughs> These books I'm going to have a hard time getting rid of. I think I might just keep them along with the Mitch album books behind my other books just to have them because I can't let them go. And that is All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This was the first book I ever read with the Asian main character and I felt like so represented even though it wasn't the right asian i'm filipino but i loved reading about laura jean and just this is such a cute book i love this book and the movies are so cute too i didn't read the rest of the series i only read the first book but i loved the other movies they were so cute um so i think i want to keep this hi lucy my dog just walked in come here want to say hi this is lucy she's wearing her little trick-or-treat um, sweater. Last two books. We have Thanks for the Trouble by Tommy, Wall Tommy Wallach. Uh, this was like a, I had like um, fantasy elements to it, which I really liked. I feel like I would reread this, to be honest. So maybe I'll keep this. This is just like a sentimental read to me. And this is also a sentimental book because I remember my mom gave me this for Christmas when I was in high school and I was like, really getting into reading and stuff. And this is Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. She actually wrote Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. Um, I know that book really blew up, um, but this was the book I first read by her a long time ago. And also M Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac she wrote. And I like that book as well. I think I'm gonna keep these three books though because of memories and sentimental whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if it was all over the place. So we rearranged and cleaned my bookshelf. We went through my physical TBR and talked about some books I will be unhauling. I really enjoyed making this video. Let me know um, what other videos you guys think I should make. Um, thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time.